Hey everyone, welcome back to my video in YouTube. I'm Gariski. Well, people ask me about the wireframe that we usually design it for the mock-up. So, uh, people say that the wireframe is only black and white, but I don't agree about that. So, I wanted to show you how to design the wireframe in the Photoshop and we can make it with the full color and you can and you will see the wireframe looks like the beautiful ui design okay well currently i'm working with the adobe photoshop uh, cs6 because my random access memory it doesn't enough if i'm using the adobe xd for uh, creative cloud uh, 2016 well I'm working with this Adobe X uh, Photoshop. Okay, just create new file, new, and you can find the mobile here. And I'm going to use uh, 360 with the, uh, sorry, uh, white, okay, 360 by multiplication, sorry, 320 by multiplication with the 400 XG and okay and we get the document here so we just need to create the background with the uh, rectangle and i wanna create the background here good and the background we can change it just double click i wanted to change the color to the blue like this no okay and you can see the hex code it's a 10 20 and 32 okay and after that we just need to create the search bar here i'm going to use the rounded and just click here like this and i want to make this rounded to the uh, 100 so just uh, click here oh sorry Oh, this one just click here and mm, no maybe we need to remove this rounded and create again like this okay it's cool and I wanna make this rounded uh, just cancel and you can see we have the stroke here and we can select by white color and the width is a uh, one pixel and we don't need the field color just uncheck list like this and we got it okay and i wanna make it to the center like this and we can get the margin top is uh one two three four five well and zoom in and we can go to this uh, rounded again and create new layer here and go to field color and we can set in the radius to 100 and we can like this uh, it's a text sample content just like this and we can make it just change the color and to be dark again like this okay and we can make it to the center and like this and i want to make it to the left like this okay it's cool so you know what is this uh this looks like the text but currently i'm i'm using the rounded so we can control g joy and we can duplicate the layer and we can resize like this and enter and we can move like this but you can see the radius is not stable so uh, wait i'm looking for the properties hmm long time it was long time not uh, using the Adobe Photoshop, <laughs> so.
so uh, I'm familiar with the sketch app and Adobe XD so we can remove this yes just remove and go to run that again and create new layer and we can design like this just like this okay and the color we can double click to change the color and we got like this okay and we can make it to the center okay it's cool and we can see the height is 7 so you can change it to uh, 7 and you can make it to center again like this and like this and we can make it to the center okay it's cool uh, I think it's we need to change this color maybe double click to add color what do you think I think it's cool Okay, this is only for the uh, wireframe and then we can create the content here just click here and new layer and we can draw here oops just make the radius it's only 10 pixel and we can draw here like this Okay, and we can make it to the center and move to the bottom like this and we can go to FX to drop shadow and okay and you can see we have the drop shadow okay and then I wanna so I wanna make it different maybe we can select this rectangle just duplicate the layer and change the color to the yeah I think green is good uh, white and we can resize like this okay and we can go to run dot here and double click for drop shadow and setting the opacity to 20 and enter okay it's good but <laughs> yeah i'm wondering the search bar is not good maybe we can uh we can edit again and i'm so sorry I think the search bar is not good. Maybe we can change the color and remove the stroke. And I want to use the uh, green color like this. Okay. And we can change this to a black color. And we can copy this hex code and double click again and copy this hex code oops okay I think it's better than before we did <laughs> yeah it's it's better now we can create a new rounded and create new layer and zoom again and I wanna make uh, the content here and the color we can start from the green and make it soft like this and I wanna change it to the purple to the blue yeah as you can see the wireframe it's good if we can choose by a uh, full color so maybe we can uh, create new layer here just new layer and go to here and setting the radius to 100 and we can draw for the content and just make sure the color is not white so we can make it a dark color 
okay and just like this okay it's cool and we can duplicate this layer and move like this and we can go back to these tools and setting the width to maybe uh, 65 and we can make it uh, to the center like this okay and after that we just need to select this layer tree of layer and group it and just ctrl G for duplicate and we can setting the margin top is 20 like this and we can duplicate again okay like this as you can see we have the beautiful mock-up here sorry the beautiful wireframe and we can change the color this color just double click maybe you can use the uh, purple and select again and double click and change to the yes yellow it's beautiful right and select again and maybe red color like this okay and then here uh, we, we can change this uh, width so we can click right and select the rounded and go to here and you can decrease the width to maybe 60 and select this sorry just press the move tool and select this and go back to this and maybe you can increase to like this oh no it's to overload maybe 150 okay and go back again and just repeat repeat and repeat maybe this is for uh, like this and you can see we have this and just make it to the small and select this again and just make it to the small this well 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 it's good so i think it's enough for the get start with the wireframe and maybe in the next uh in the next time i want to make it to the a beautiful ui design with the adobe uh, adobe photoshop and i want to update my photoshop tutorial so don't worry about that well thank you for watching this tutorial so nice to meet you from indonesia See you!